Dr. Kia Moore is a close friend of Makita's Cookies owners, the Hill family. Since the shooting, Makita's has been closed. It is Memphis as the blues is. It is Memphis as the North is. Rapper Young Dolph one of Makita's Cookies' most faithful customers and more like family. While visiting the shop Wednesday, he was gunned down and killed. The husband, who was one of the owners, and some staff members were actually there. So they witnessed, you know, Dolph being murdered, but they also almost, you know, could have been hurt themselves. He just got a phone call from my dad. He was in the store. He's one of the owners. We heard my cousin in the background. You know, he just basically like, man, he gone. Somebody shot him. He gone. And I'm like, who gone? You know, we just trying to figure out what was going on. And then you could hear my dad, you know, he was just like, stay with me, dog, just stay with me, bro. You know, he kept saying it, so that's when he was like, okay, it was dog. So it was, it was kind of, it was real fast. He said it was, my, my dad was just like, it was real fast. It was a real quick situation. Were you, so your dad, you're, you were on the phone with your dad when it happened? Yeah, it was right after, he called us like directly after, you know, the, the shots were fired and Dolph was hit. And you can hear him saying, Dolph, stay with me. Yeah, you heard him say that. Was it inside the store or right outside? It was inside the store. It was inside the store. So, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it was inside the store. The husband, who was one of the owners, and some staff members were actually there. So they witnessed, you know, Dolph being murdered, but they also almost, you know, could have been hurt themselves. They need to take the time away, you know, to heal emotionally. But while they do that, the store has to be repaired. They have staff that they were counting on being paid. Unfortunately, their insurance was not an option. Was not an option. It was not a fire. This was not a flood. This was not a natural disaster. And so we can't cover it. Dr. Moore started a GoFundMe to help Makita's. In less than 24 hours, donations hit $33,000. Young Dove's longtime partner encouraged support as well, posting, Don't be mad that this is where he took his last breath. Let this serve as a memorial to remember just how human Young Dove was and how he moved in ways only to bless others. Within an hour, we had grown by 15 more thousand. I just, I wanted to... I wanted to make sure that I thank everybody publicly for the people who prayed, been praying for me, and you know, it's been a lot. The past three weeks has been a lot. Um, I've had to endure false accusations, people making up complete lies about me, death threats, and the entire time this stuff was happening. All because I decided to help somebody else. The entire time this stuff was happening, God was like, Be quiet. You know, don't say nothing. Don't comment. And it was hard. It still is hard. I'm not going to be stupid to say that it's over. I pray that it's over, but... People were completely making up things about you, lying on you, putting your life at risk, your reputation at risk. You don't have to stoop down and... The people that were trying to undermine me, their audiences are minuscule. That is what I want to remind y'all like don't don't get distracted it's hard it's extremely hard this is the, one of the hardest things I've ever done these last two weeks knowing that I didn't do anything was the hardest I've ever gone through it's plenty of YouTube videos saying they in Illuminati all kind of crazy stuff that we know it's not true sometimes you got to go through stuff it's not fair it's not easy I preach literally everything that happens I preached about how you come into agreement with someone who has lost everything. This whole thing is just... It's mind-blowing. You, do you see what I'm saying? People will put together lies to try to destroy you. Yesterday was hard, and I'm not lying to y'all. My makeup still look a mess today because I could barely put my makeup on. My eye, underneath my eyes, burn when I put concealer on because I have been crying for two weeks. I didn't have postpartum depression when I was pregnant and I had an accident and broke my foot and then my one of my best friends died. I didn't have postpartum depression. I ain't never experienced depression, but I'm not, I'm kid you not. I think I know what depression feels like because these last two weeks, not being able to defend myself, I stayed in my bed. I wouldn't eat till like two or three. I was praying and fasting the whole time, but I was depressed because I was like, God, how are you letting this happen to me? I don't know these people that are making these lies up and all I want to do is help folks. Like, why are you letting this happen? Please, like, make it make sense. And God just kept saying, be quiet. Be quiet. And the whole time I'm like, God, you really got me out here taking L's. I was like, God, you got me taking L's. They got all these crazy YouTube videos up that YouTube will not take down because YouTube says that I have to have a court order, which means I got to take these fools to court, which my lawyer's already looking into it. 
But the fact is, I'm sitting like, this is really happening. Like, you're letting this happen. Like, oh my gosh. Maybe, you know, people are lying on you or, or whatever it is that you, you feel like is coming against you. You feel like it's not your fault. You feel like you've been praying. You've been fasting. You feel like you're doing the right thing, right? And the whole time, God is telling you not to fight. My members... Some of my members, I've been in the courtroom praying that, that their sentences would get waived. I got, we ain't no bougie church. And I'm telling my members that like to fight and cuss to be quiet. You know how much I want to be like, nah, go off. But I just sit there and just be quiet. Tell my members to be quiet. Delete comments, not respond. Oh, and turn my comments off. Would I have liked to not go through the stuff that I went through? Of course not. Would I like to be able to clear my name on all those stupid YouTube videos? Absolutely. But that's not my job. Trust God, like, keep your mouth shut. I'm telling you, like, if I had to go through this and I'm not gonna cry, because I got somewhere to be. And I'm already crying. Hop asked me because I'm still crying about the twenty, fifty, hundred dollars Because I've been crying since it happened. But sometimes you just gotta be willing to be used. I do not like it. I'm telling y'all, I did not like it. I know we supposed to say we hate, but I nearly hated every second of the last three weeks. I thought to myself, why would you even put yourself in there? You should have just let somebody else do the GoFundMe. Because the whole time I set up the GoFundMe was because I didn't want nobody to scam the heel family. I said, let me do it because somebody else going to set up this GoFundMe and they going to put the money in their name. My first conversation with them was, I'm going to make sure the money's in your name so that I, I don't want to see a dime of it. I don't want to know what's going on with the money. I don't want to get bank account information. I'm doing that. I did that because I didn't want them to get scammed. By somebody else. And me putting my name on the GoFundMe. Let all these crazy people to make up all these lies and accuse me. Put my daughter's face, my four-year-old daughter's face in a conspiracy theory video. And the whole time God was like, Be quiet, people. Don't say nothing. Don't argue. And I get it. Because if I had been on there arguing and popping off, what if these people that want to bless me had saw that? They're used to people making up lies on them. They're used to people, you know, making up stuff that you can't, you can't prove. Right. But what if they insult me out of character? And let me help you before I go, because I told my church this this morning. None of that stuff online is true. None of it. None of it. It may look true, but it's not true. I've been vetted by the White House. I had to go through White House vetting during campaign season. Right? To run the religious, the part of the faith arm of Biden's campaign. I still got the text messages and emails to prove it. So I know that there's nothing about me that's harmful. They they search to see if you trip somebody in the second grade. So to see that I had been vetted by the White House and then see people online make up stuff was harmful, right? But the people who know me know me. The people who love me love me. And I promise you, God got my back. And so at the end of the day, it ain't even that, you know, touch not my anointed. That's true. But I'm talking to those of you that's in the fire, that's going through stuff. Keep your head up and keep your mouth closed. It's hard. You can... You can say a little bit. I said a little bit just to let y'all know I was okay. You know what I mean? But don't, don't get in the trenches fighting with people. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And I pray that it don't take God long as it took him to redeem me. Because it took me two or three weeks. What day did Doc die? The 17th? 16th or the 17th, it's been going on almost a month. Hold on one second, baby, be quiet. Be quiet, you're not supposed to be talking. But God did it. God did it. And so the people that know me, know me, but I just hate that some people found out about me through some, some lies. But it's okay. So to all you bloggers that made up lies for you so that you can get money, destroying people's families and names, I forgive you. Man, nigga, we innocent in all this shit. Y'all trying to make, y'all trying to put a fucking smoke miles in shit, bro. You put my motherfucking family in danger, bitch ass nigga. Why you got this GoFundMe, rich ass nigga? That's Dr. Kill Moore, bitch ass nigga. So, Kill Morgan, the money, or y'all get the money? I'll TPP long. Oh, I, I, I bet, I bet you ain't got more money than me. Bet, 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 bet. Ain't nobody said shit up. No, man, nigga, we innocent in all this shit. Y'all trying to make, y'all trying to put fucking smoke miles in shit, bro. You put my motherfucking family in danger, bitch ass nigga. Rich ass nigga. That's Dr. Kia Moore, bitch ass nigga. So Kia Moore getting the money or y'all getting the money?
Nigga, we get money straight from cookie sales, dumbass. Oh, nigga. So why you got a dope funny in the kid's name if it ain't for you? Kill more, set that shit up, nigga. So she using our fucking picture. What? Oh, so so Kia Moore, she setting y'all up for this shit. Bruh, didn't nobody ask Kia Moore to do shit. She did all that shit on her fucking own. Would I like to be able to clear my name on all those stupid YouTube videos? Absolutely.